<laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to, to another, another episode of Ty and Gig Builds. This week, we're bringing you guys the classic, the greatest, the snake game. That's right. This thing came out awesome. Find out how we programmed it, and that's pretty much what we programmed. Built it. Bills. <laughs> Bills. <laughs> Welcome back to the lab. It's Ty. Don't know why we have all this get up because we're not soldering, but we'll just go with it. For those of you who don't know, who didn't watch the video we made with the coffee table, we made this nice, cool, reactive coffee table. You put your hand over it, the lights come up, and it reacts to your hand. Um, that table is made out of WS2812 or WS2811 LEDs. Those are strung up in a serpentine pattern. It's eight rows by 12 columns. We're gonna reuse that build, and we're gonna reuse it to play Snake. Classic snake game. It's super simple. We just need to add this analog joystick to the inputs for some of the Arduino parts And we're gonna keep this original circuit as is so we have a lot of different things going on with that circuit But we're basically gonna mainly reuse the WS2811 Circuit and then we're also gonna add this analog stick to some inputs and then we're gonna use those two to actually play the game Luckily, we don't have to solder. I have these jumper wires going around and they fit right in here And then they'll be able to fit into the board and then after that, we'll start programming, and then we'll start debugging, and then we'll start playing. Builds. That's it, builds. Live. Why wouldn't we go live? We, we do everything live. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so up to this point, we connected the analog joystick. Very simple circuit. We'll leave the diagram here, there, maybe in the description, I don't know. But we have an analog joystick connected and we had already previously connected the circuit that is powering the WS2811 LEDs. Uh, you can watch the other video if you want to know the details of that. So I'm not gonna go through the code in detail. It, it, it really rejects a wide range of audience, so I'm gonna try my best to explain at a high level how this code operates, and then you can kind of get an ideal and feel for how it goes and read, read through the code yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them, I'll answer them. Then after I explain at a high level what's going on with the code, we're gonna strip to some demos at the end and show how it works. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Basically, when you make the snake game, there's two big uh, objects that you're gonna be concerned about. It's the apple, you know, that the snake eats, and the snake itself. When I chose to program this, I chose a linked list for the snake, and I chose just a single point for the apple. A point, in this case, represents a coordinate on the matrix. So a point is represented by an X, Y, Pair. The snake itself is a linked list of points, which represents the entire segment or the entire body of the snake. So as this game progresses and the snake moves, you can control the snake in either direction with the joystick, and you want to get to the apple. As you get to the apple, the snake grows. And the reason we chose a linked list for the snake, so that we can attach another point to the snake's coordinate system to actually increase the body of the snake every time it eats an apple. This means every time the snake eats an apple, it grows, and also we added it so that it would actually go faster. We implemented a pause feature where if you were to click the joystick, there's actually a, a push button, you'll pause the game. So the snake, which is a linked list of points, represents a point on a 2D matrix. However, we use serpentine pattern when we put these LEDs together. So we have to actually map the XY coordinates of the snake to the matrix indexes. Because at the end of the day, the matrix is just a single string of LEDs. So we have to figure out which LED in that string is the one we need to light up for that matrix. So we're gonna take the input from the joystick. If it goes up, down, left, right, we're gonna increase the next position of the snake by one in whatever direction it's actually headed. And then we're going to check if that position is legal, whether that be inbounds and make sure we don't you know, go off screen or it's not a snake part. And then it's legal, we'll readjust the snake and move it along. If it hits the apple, we'll increase the length of the snake and keep the game going and increase the speed. So let's get to a few clips of how it went. The only thing I would change is the joystick. It is very touchy-feely. Uh, I really suggest like a D-pad or something like that, a directional pad. The joystick is not very accurate, but aside from that, really works great and it plays good too. It's 
sound right, boy. Guys, I mean, it's... If you're at the build studio, you're getting the builds every week. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> 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 it's just my in-between <laughs> Plastic snake in. Um, came out great. I really like that. You can reuse it for any size LED matrix. Mm -hmm. um, coffee table being reused is also awesome. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, guys. We're going to be doing stuff on there every week. Bells. Bills. Mikey, come on, give it to us. Bills. Yes! <laughs>